Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I am back with another hair review. I'm back with the wig videos. It's been a minute, sort of, not really, cause I was doing videos in the first week of January when I wasn't supposed to be doing that. But I had a couple of different videos in between while I was taking a break from wigs. But I'm back, I'm back with the wig videos y'all. And I got a good one today. As you can see, your girl did the heart shaped swoop. You know, getting in the spirit, Valentine's Day, month of February, you know. And you don't have to have no date or no Valentine's to get cute. You can get cute, go out to eat with your friends, go out to eat by yourself. You know, you can get cute. You don't have to have a Valentine to get cute for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how I did this heart-shaped swoop on this unit. It's really self-explanatory, so I'm not really talking at all. I may do a voiceover just in case it's not really clear or like you want me to explain it, but it's really self-explanatory. You really could just learn by watching. To be honest, it's not like a difficult hairstyle. But yeah, oh, this video is sponsored by, where's the box? It's Love Hair, they were kind of to send me over this this bomb burgundy lace frontal unit with the dark roots. But yeah, so let's go ahead and jump to the video. I'm gonna start with the unboxing as always. I really about forgot how I do these videos. Shoot, it's been a little minute. Yeah, let's start with the unboxing before we get into the install styling and review portion in that order. So y'all just saw the box, but this is the box that the wig comes in. It's just this black box that says S Love Hair and it's got these cute little ribbon handles and it's a magnetic flap type of box. So you just flip that right on open and right on top you have this satin drawstring bag that also says s love hair with their website on it which is what the wig comes inside of so boom there's the wig but we're gonna come back to that later let me show y'all everything else that's in the box they sent me these clips what do they call these alligator clips i think i don't own any of these so i was really excited to get these because i ain't never had nobody send me no alligator clips they also sent this cute little headband little tropical looking headband real cute and they also sent this little pink organza bag filled with a couple goodies inside of that is a pair of lashes a little spoon which I've never had a company send before and then this little card and then they also sent the two nude wig caps But yeah, that was everything in the box Let me show y'all the wig and what it looks like straight out of the box So it comes out of a hairnet stuffing on the inside. This is the construction of the unit It is a 13 by 4 lace frontal 24 inches This is a loose wave unit and it's got three combs in the front a comb in the back and adjustable strap and it also has lace in the back and then this is what the wig looks like this is the pattern straight out the box i was trying to show y'all the hairline right here but you can't really tell i did end up plucking it a little bit but just on this i literally only plucked it on this side because i knew this was the side that's gonna be showing um i had started plucking on this side but then i was like why am i doing it but um yeah i really didn't do too much to it i really didn't even pluck that much out of it but yeah and i didn't bleach the knots i probably would have if i had some bleach if i had developer i don't have no developer so i didn't bleach the knots but it really didn't need to be bleached like it literally looks great didn't even need that but yeah let's go ahead and jump into the install portion of the video which is what you guys are going to see next then you will see the styling portion of the video and then finally the review portion my thoughts on this unit if you want to see all of that and how i slayed this because your girl did that i really thought i was gonna screw this but yeah if you want to see how i achieved this look then keep on watching All right, y'all, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is trimming off some of this lace because, girl, it was touching my eyelashes and getting on my nerves. So I had to trim some of that off so I could be a little more comfortable. Then I'm going to go in with my Got To Be Blasting Free Spray and spraying across the whole hairline. This is what I've been using to install my wigs lately. I haven't been using lace glue, no bold hole, nothing like that. I literally just use free spray now um, just because I just want to give myself a break from the lace glue. Didn't know how harsh that was, you know, around my hairline. So I've been doing the free spray, but yeah, I'm just spraying it around the whole hairline and then I'm gonna tie it down with an elastic band until it dries about 15 to 20 minutes maybe. And I also blow dry it during this process on high heat. Once the free spray is completely dry, I go ahead and take off the elastic band and then this is where I cut my lace.
So once I'm done cutting the lace, I can see if I need to add any makeup, which I did. And I just took some excess foundation that was on my foundation brush and just went across the hairline. I didn't add any product onto the brush, nothing like that, just what was left on it. And then I go in and spray free spray around the hairline one more time and tie it down again with an elastic band just to make sure everything is nice and stuck and melted. So while the free spray is drying and that lace is melting, I'm going to go ahead and start working on styling the hair. So right now I'm just brushing the hair out and getting ready to start on the heart shape part. And I started my part where I normally start my side parts, which is at the arch of my eyebrows. So I just kind of started right there and use my hot comb to kind of flatten out the area a little bit just to kind of define that part and really just make sure like all the hair that's on the left is staying to the left and all the hair that's going to the right is staying to the right. Basically training the hair to lay in the direction that I want it to go. That's basically the purpose of the hot comb is to train the hair to stay like that and lay like that. And then I'm working on the heart shape part. Now, I don't really know how to explain that. Um, it's just like parting anything else. You know, if you want to part in a straight line, you draw a straight line with the comb. And that's what I did here with the heart shape part. I just drew a heart in my head. Y'all know how to draw a heart? Draw a heart in your head. This dye is coming off on my hands and the hair not wet or nothing. I don't like that. Right here, I've already taken off the elastic band and now I'm just working on the heart shape part some more and basically perfecting it however much I need to, making sure, you know, the curves are even or, you know, one's not bigger than the other or higher than the other, just perfecting the part really. That's all I'm doing right here. So, yeah. So I just took the swoop behind my ear to keep it out of the way while I flatten out the rest of the hair, you know, behind the part. So I'm just taking some free spray, spraying on the hair, hot combing everything back and laying down all the flyaways, making sure everything is flat, all that good stuff. Now that I've gotten all that flat and hot combed back, I can work on the swoop and laying that down. So I'm going to take some free spray and spray on the swoop and hot comb everything down in that direction because that is the direction that the hair is going to be laying. So like I said, we're training the hair to lay in that direction. So I'm just hot combing it over and over, making sure it's super flat very neat and I'm also hot combing down but also towards the direction that it's going to be laying which is behind my ear so yeah So now that I got the swoop 
flat and everything, I can work on molding the swoop. And you need to be spraying, got to be sprayed like there is no tomorrow. That thing need to be crispy, crunchy. What I'm doing is taking the got to be spray, spraying it on that section that we parted out for the swoop. And I'm using my rat tail comb to comb the product through and also comb it in the direction and mold it in the direction that I want it to go, which is again behind my ear. But that's all I'm doing this whole time. So I'm not really gonna talk anymore during this part. I'm just spraying hella spray, hella got to be spray and combing, molding, combing, molding, laying everything down. And then I also take my edge brush and spray a bunch of free spray on the edge brush and brush, you know, all those little stray hairs and brush through the whole part. Just make sure everything is laid down and getting all those little strays and just perfecting it. So now that we've got the swoop all molded, y'all see that thing nice, flat, crispy, crunchy, fried, dyed, laid to the side. I'm going to part out a section in the back. And this is Arrogant Tay's method he did in his most recent video where he showed how he does his swoops. Um, I'm just parting out the back section of the wig, just a row of hair. And I'm going to take some of that hair, a little piece, and take the section of hair that we use with the swoop and basically rubber band it together in the back of my head and then you'll comb all the rest of the hair over it so you can't see that so it's like hidden back there i don't know i can't explain it go watch this video Y'all see that swoop, nice, flat, crispy. Now that we've done that, we done got that out the way, we can start working on the curls. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just clipping up the hair to keep it out of the way while I work on, you know, each section. So 
I'm just taking a section, combing through it, wand curling. If you don't know how to wand curl, I don't even know what to tell you. You just wrap the hair around the rod. That's it. Hold the hair there for maybe 10 seconds or so and then drop it. And then I'm going to pin curl it. I pin curl each section as I go to make sure that the hair cools like that and the curls cool like that. So they're nice and defined and tight and they're not dropping while we're doing the rest of the hair. That's all I'm doing, the rest of the styling portion. So I'm just going to do this section of my head. I'm going to do the other section, the other half off camera. But yeah, that's all the talking I will be doing. So y'all just enjoy the rest of the video. I will see y'all later on. I lied. I did one more thing. I'm just taking some concealer. I just use the concealer that I use when I do my makeup, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand. And I use that to define the part, you know, make that part pop. But yeah, okay, that's what I'm doing. Now I'm done talking. See y'all later. So I didn't do that. So I didn't do that. Okay, let's take these pins out. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit of silk infusion on my hands. Ooh, this turned out so cute. I 
need to put on some earrings. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I should put on this shirt. I have another shirt. I think I'll put on this one because it's got red in it and burgundy. And my other shirt don't. Yeah. We're going to go with her. Okay. I'm dressed. Peak the heart earrings. Matching the vibe. Okay. Purr. Stop playing with me. Let me turn my hair off because it's making a noise. Okay, y'all. What do y'all think? You can't tell me I didn't do that. Look at Chris. Yeah, stop playing with me. I really thought I was gonna struggle with this and like get super frustrated, but it actually went very well and like everything went by smoothly. And maybe because I watched the video on Arrogant Tay's swoop that he did recently, that YouTube video he did recently on his swoop, because I watched that like a few days ago. So maybe that's the reason. Yeah, because I went through this swoop with no trouble and like, you know, it's flat, it's late, crisp. And I did his little technique where he like took it and tie it in the back. You can go watch the video because I can't even explain y'all probably already seen it if y'all be watching wig videos but it turned out so good look at that part like look at that part shape yes ma'am oh i love this okay let me stop let me calm down so let me go ahead and give y'all my thoughts my review on this unit now because girl who finna um uh, who finna risk messing this up and have to redo this to refilm it a few days later not I. Not I. So let me read y'all the details on this unit. All right. So as you already know by the title in the beginning of the video, this unit is from S Love Hair. Again, this is the Black Roots Ombre Warm Burgundy Loose Wave Lace Frontal Wig on their website. And let me tell y'all, I love this color. And it's crazy. Like if you've been keeping up, then I decided to give my hair a break from wigs for a while. Plus I wanted to wear my hair because I haven't worn my hair in over a year because I've been wearing wigs because I've been having to do so many wig videos. But if you've been keeping up, then I said I was gonna start back wig content in February. And I was like, I had no idea what I was gonna do. Like I have all these wigs, had no idea what style I was gonna do. And I have been seeing this heart shaped swoop and like I've seen the heart shaped little pigtail that people have been doing. I might try that in another video, but I was like, hmm, let me try that. Since you know, Valentine's Day is coming up, February, you know all that and i didn't have a particular wig that i was starting with until at least i didn't know until i looked back to see like okay which company did i say i would do their video first and it just happened to be this unit like this is the perfect unit for this valentine's day like type of look like it's burgundy the dark roots and the heart shaped part like it's just crazy that it happened like that like this is the wig that like i had to start with for the month of february like what better wig to do this style with what better wig tell me tell me what better wig but anywho this wig is 200 percent density 24 inches long and 13 by 4 lace frontal the cap size is 22 to 22.5 inches which is like an average cap size but y'all know i have a big head i be needing larges so this wig i will say for the first thing that it was a little small yeah Y'all know I got a big head. I be needing a size large. If you gonna see me a wig, I need a large. You know, I have a big head. I got a lot of hair. So I need all that to go up under this. I don't feel like it's really giving 200% density. I feel like this is a smooth 180%. But yeah, um, 24 inches. Let's do a length check. This is where it stops at. On me, I am 5'3", right there. So I feel like it's giving 24 inches. And like I said, this is a loose wave unit. So it does seem to be holding a curl very well. Loose wave, body wave, wigs tend to hold curls better than straight wigs. So love that. I love the color. But that stuff was getting all over my hands when I was styling it. Like before I didn't even have any product on my hand. Um, it was just me like parting when I was doing the parting. The heart, when I did that part, that's when all the dye got all over my hand. But I just used some alcohol and it came right off. But yeah, I don't like that. Like, you know, all the dye is just coming off on my hand like that. And like my hands red and messed up my nails. I got a good bit of it off, but they're still kind of tinted like pink. But yeah, that was another issue I had besides the size. It doesn't really shed that much. Just the normal amount of shedding that you would expect in the unit. Nothing too crazy nothing you know out of the way the hair is very soft i do like that it's very soft doesn't really tangle that much at all which i really like i didn't bleach the knots on this unit i did pluck it but i really only plucked this side because this was the only side that was gonna be out i, I had started plucking over here so it was only plucked a little bit but then i was like why am i doing that you know i don't need to do that because it's not gonna be showing so i just stopped plucking over here and i did all the plucking over here and you know it's looking pretty good it's looking pretty good yeah um the lace the install that went by very well and all i used i used one product this whole install which is good old handy dandy got to be spray this is all i used the whole video to glue the wig down the styling like laying everything down well i did use a chi silk confusion to run my fingers through my hair after i took the pins down but um yeah really i really only used one product on this whole unit 
and I'm surprised at how well it actually held too. Considering I had on makeup, cause I usually do not install my wigs with makeup on because I just don't. Like I just, I feel like, you know, the makeup is in the way. It's gonna mess up the install. It's gonna mess up the glue, all that. But I already have my makeup on and I didn't feel like redoing it tomorrow to do this video. So I just went ahead and did my makeup on and it actually did very well. It stuck very well, melted very well. Like, but this turned out so cute. Like, like I really love this unit, but those are the only issues I had with it was the dye coming off of my hands and the sizing. And then it's I don't really feel like it's 200 percent density either. It's really giving 180 up in that area So it's full enough for my liking. So that's all that matters Well, that's all that matters to me at the moment, but it's definitely not giving 200 percent, but it's full enough It's not too thin at all. It's not thin at all. So I really like that. I really like this unit like I Mm, like boom you see it y'all see it like I really don't have to say nothing. I really did that like I'm proud of myself Clap it up, clap it up. Go and like the video. But yeah, overall, I'm gonna give the unit a eight out of 10 just for those couple issues that I had that I mentioned. But overall, I love it and I love the dark roots. I usually don't get wigs, like my color wigs usually be color all the way through. I usually don't have dark roots and I actually really like the dark roots. Like I really like how this looks. It's like a perfect Valentine's Day wig and it's not like super bright red. It's like a burgundy, you know, more toned down. But yeah, I just really like it. I don't really have nothing else to say. I'm gonna keep talking and I'm just gonna be saying stuff you know i probably done already said or just ain't no need of saying so i'm just stop talking now thank you again to s love here for sending me this unit and sponsoring today's video i really love it so shout out to y'all if you want to purchase this unit for yourself the link will be in the description box down below as always and yeah that's all i got to say that's all i got for y'all make sure you check out my website who should where i sell my lashes my big blinks which are my 25 millimeter lashes and my baby blinks which are my shorter lashes for my natural girl i'm wearing a pair of my big blinks right now this is a part of my fluffy series i'm wearing the style Prada the fluffy series those lashes are just big blinks only fluffier so go shop my lashes I also sell lip gloss to make myself very moisturizing you're not gonna find any other lip gloss like it but yeah go shop my lip glosses my lip candies which are my tinted glosses I have juicy watermelon which is a red tint Georgia peach which is a peachy tint and cocoa kisses which is what I'm wearing right now which is a brown tint all moisturizing all scented as well if you're not a fan of the tinted glosses I also sell regular clear gloss I have strawberry kiwi which is a plain clear gloss and I have diced pineapples which is a clear glitter gloss i also sell bags i have the crystal money bags i have spring mini bags i have rhinestone face masks stay masked up stay safe out there i also sell press-ons that i make myself you can shop any of the designs that i have on my website or you can dm my business page on instagram who beauty and we can discuss a custom order over there i do accept custom orders i also sell jewelry necklaces anklets i sell sweat sets and i also sell lash tweezers if you have trouble applying your lashes i recommend you get a pair of lash tweezers it helped me i still use them even though i've been putting on lashes for years i still use them because i feel like it helps the process go by easier that's just my opinion so i just recommend that you get those if you have trouble applying your lashes or your first time lash wearer that's what you need so after you get your lashes from me make sure you use a pair of lash tweezers on your way out and yeah i think that's everything on my website so go shop my website whoshebeauty.com link in the description as well as the link to my business page on instagram well that's it for this video you guys i hope you all enjoyed this video let me know how i did what y'all think of this style let me know if you try it out yourself send me pictures on instagram dm me tag me whatever i would love to see it and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel please and thank you and make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when i post because you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so make sure your post notifications are on and i'll see y'all in my next video bye